So for the first workout, we're gonna start with hip thrusts. It's really important to start with something that's gonna fire up your glutes before moving on with our isolation workouts. Remember here to put all the weight on your heels when you go up and do not squeeze the glutes. Always remember to put a tension on the glutes rather than a squeeze. Just imagine you're pressing a pencil in between your cheeks. So going to our next workout here, we have split squats. This is an important, it's like one of the most important workouts you have to add in your glute session. This exercise will literally work every muscle in your leg, so the quads, the hamstrings, and your glutes, especially your glutes. Now to feel it more in your glutes, your back has to be bent a bit, so a bit forward as you can see here when I go down, it's not like straight. And again, when you go up, always push through the heels, so put all the weight on your heels. Next, we have RDLs, so for this exercise, think of it as standing hip thrusts. You will be bending your knees a bit when you go down and all the focus should be on your hips and glutes. Your back must be straight at all times. And as you can see here, when you go back, make sure that your back is not going all the way back. There is a slight bend to it and that's gonna have the tension effect on the glutes rather than the squeezing. And remember to tuck in your chin and push always with your heels. Remember to always put the weights on the heels if you want to feel it more in your glutes. Now for the fourth exercise, it's gonna be goblet squats. So here you're gonna pick any weight that you're comfortable in, tuck it under your chin and your back must be straight and lean a bit forward as shown here when you go down. This will make you feel it more in your glutes rather than your quads or hamstrings. And again, never squeeze the glutes when you go up. Your back has to be leaned forward and straight to have that tension effect rather than squeezing. Next, we have single leg hip thrusts. So always keep the isolation workouts at the end of the glute session. So here you will put the weight on the thrusting leg, not the straight leg, so you can have more control of the weight when you go up and down. And again, always push with your heels, so always put the weight on your heels. And as you can see, your chin must be tucked in, so your face has to be straight, fixed and not moving. And again, always use tension on the glutes and not squeezing it when you go up. For our last workout here we have knee donkey kicks so for this variation you're gonna put the ankle straps under your knee and the level of the strap machine has to be also matching your knee level so you're gonna keep your back straight and lean forward here and as you can see when you go up your leg is a bit tilted so you are basically just pushing your leg more sideways than backwards 